So hi guys, today we're going to talk about a brand that I have been a fan of for the longest time and finally I got my old time grail from them. So in around year 2014 I think I got my first pair of shoes from them and I'll have a picture up in the screen right now. So it's the Common Projects Achilles Slow in Navy. And over the years, I got uh, a few pairs from them as well. Uh, I had the Common Projects B-Ball Low in Royal Blue and a Common Projects uh, Tennis Court in White. Yeah. And I got most of them, if not all, uh, on sale, including the pair that we're going to review today. Uh, so, just going to give a brief background regarding the company. As written by Heis Nabaidi, Common Project is a luxury footwear brand created by Prathan Put Pupat and Flavio Giro. Lam Lamy in 2004. Though the brand primarily operates out of New York City, its operations are based in two locations with design and business operations taking place in the US and production taking mainly in Italy. Pupat and Giro Lamy founded their brand after searching for a pair of premium casual shoes that would feel luxurious to wear without sacrificing any style or timeless appeal. The brand's name comes from the fact that the duo open found themselves working on common projects together. They challenged a luxury footwear company in Italy to create a shoe, supposedly the first ever sneaker the factory has ever created, and the end result was the Completely unbranded sneaker, the shoes became known as the Achilles Lou. And over the years, their product range has expanded, which includes a plethora of other silhouettes inspired by basketball, tennis, and running models, as well as footwear essentials such as Chelsea boots, desert boots, and loafers. In 2009, due to its popularity, the brand expanded into offering a women's wear line as well. Arguably the most well-known element of common project shoes, as well as their only true form of external branding, is the series of 10 numbers found on the outside heel of each shoe, which some people may say has become as emblematic as the Nike swoosh and the Adidas tree foil. The first four digits of the 10 number series indicate the article number of the specific shoe and the next two indicate the shoe's European size and the final four indicates the model's specific color. In the brand's early years, these numbers could be rubbed off if the wearer wished for their shoe to be completely black, but they are now branded in gold foil. It is the only visible branding on the pair, otherwise perfectly clean shoes. So I bought this pair in Hypebeast.com when they had a 30% off code on full priced items. Uh, so I didn't pay the full price on these shoes. Uh, and I also suggest you guys not paying for the full price because it is indeed a expensive shoe and not one shoe is definitely worth that asking price. So uh, let's unbox the shoes. This shoes comes in a regular Common Projects white box. Um, it comes with a shoe bag. Um, also comes with a uh, extra white laces and furthermore we have the shoes so as you guys can see 
we have the Aquila Slow in All White. So this is the most sought after color and model for common projects and I would like to believe this model was also the model that made Common Projects the household brand that it is right now. So as I was editing this video, I actually remembered that I failed to mention a thing or two about sizing, which is a big talking point when you're talking about Common Projects, as most of their models tend to go a bit on the longer side. Um, so I would recommend going down at least a size. In my case, I'm a size 41, which translates to a US 8, and I tend to get a size 40, or in most cases, I even get a size 39 for a snugger fit. Um, it actually depends on what you would prefer uh, for your sneakers. So I have seen several videos on YouTube saying why you shouldn't buy the common projects Aquila Slow, seeing that there are several other brands offering the same value for much less. And I would agree, but if you had a chance, you should definitely buy these. I would say that 280 for these when most Nikes and Adidas retail for around 200 for the special releases is definitely worth it. The sneakers have been a staple in the streetwear menswear community and somehow the shoes is recognizable despite it having only the serial branding on the heel of the shoe. I bought my pair for around 280 and I would say that I'm happy to pay that price. However, I would also say that it is expensive for a plain white sneaker. So if you don't have that money, you're better off breaking that 280 off and buying other stuff. You can buy the Nike Air Force ones uh, priced at $90. You can buy the Veja uh, V10 priced at around 100 or more, but definitely less than $200. You can buy some Vans Old School or maybe even buy the Adidas Stan Smith and you would spend much less than the asking price of the Common Projects Aquiles though. And with that being said, give me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you buy these shoes for full retail? Would you not? Uh, how much would you want to pay for it? And give me some possible alternatives that I could possibly review in this channel as well. And with that, everyone, do me one last favor. Have a good day and I'll catch you on the next one.